do you think that people would not figure this out at some point? You know, as they say, you can fool all the people some of the time. But you can't fool all the people all the time, you know. It, it's not going to work. To all who teach that Elohim or God is the creator, you are liars. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Do you think that Yahweh doesn't know your wicked acts? Elohim or God is not the creator. It is Yahweh, as it states in the J source, the earliest version or manuscript of the Hebrew scriptures. And that is what we have printed in the book of Yahweh, the most accurate biblical text in the world. The entire religious scholarly world knows that this detestable word Elohim was planted in the scriptures as part of a grand satanic scheme to remove Yahweh's name from the Bible so that the world would worship gods and not Yahweh. I don't want you to miss this point. I want you to see and understand this clearly. If all we had was the J source, the original. No one would ever be able to read a scripture that says Yahweh is a God or Yahweh created heaven and earth. Or even the phrase, the God of, is of Israel. Because the word Yahweh was, was used exclusively in this source. My friend, this is the clincher and I want you to see it. The facts are clear. The truth is undeniable. Yahweh is not Elohim. He is not a God. Elohim is not the Creator. That honor belongs only to Yahweh. Yahweh alone. I ask you, please, to join the house of Yahweh and Pastor Israel Hawkins in declaring this great news to all the peoples of the earth. Yahweh is the Creator, not Elohim, not God, not Satan. It is time to give Yahweh His due praise it's time to worship Yahweh instead of Satan, the God of this world. Tell Satan to take a hike. Hit the road, Jack. And don't come back no more, no more, no more. If your Bible said, says God created the heavens and the earth, then it's time to get yourself a different Bible. You don't have to be deceived like the rest of this world anymore. We don't have to follow the children of Israel in their rebellion against Yahweh by worshipping El. They should have known better because Yahweh warned them and gave them this instruction before they migrated into the land of Canaan, where they picked it up from. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse, 30, verse 20, 23, in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 23, it states, And you must not walk according to the customs of the nations I'm going to drive out before you. Also in Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 30 it states, Be careful not to be ensnared into following them by asking about their gods, Elohim, saying, How did these nations serve their gods, Elohim? I will do the same. <laughs> Let the facts show my friends that this is exactly what Israel did from the Encyclopedia Judaica volume 7 pages 674 and 679 it states El the oldest Semitic term for God is El corresponding to Akkadian Ilu or Ilum Canaanite El or Il and Arabic and Arabic El in the U um, in the Ugaritic myths, El is the head of the Canaanite pantheon. Think about that. The ancestor of the other gods and goddesses. And hear this one. Hear this one, my friends. The creator of earth and its creatures. No, my friends. That honor belongs to Yahweh. Not God, not Elohim. Like Elohim, it continues to tell us, like Elohim, El can be employed in reference to an alien God. 
and you can find the various you know, references in the Bible on that, or a strange God, as it says in Psalms 44 verse 22. There's, there's more. Under the heading, in this same reference, um, in reference source, Eloah and Elohim, the word Eloah, God, and it's plural, notice this now, it's plural, Elohim, is apparently a lengthened form of El, which we just read um, uh, is, was the, the head of the Canaanite pantheon. The rabbis may not have told the people where they got the term El from, or, or Elohim, but you can search it out yourself, okay, it's not a secret, it came from the Canaanites. And, and I want you to notice these facts in the 1961 Harper Dictionary by Miller and Miller, page 154. Under the heading L, it states, When waves of Hebrews migrated into Palestine from Mesopotamia in the patriarchal age, 20th to, to, to 19th century BC, they found Canaanites worshipping L, the God. You see? That's who the world worships when they call on God. El, Elohim. What occurred to it, the Israelites is like what occurs when people migrate to, to America and they start assimilating into the American society. The Hebrews assimilated into the Canaanite society and used the same words that the Canaanite used to worship their deity. They didn't want to be seen as a cult or a minority group. You see? Don't expect your rabbi to tell you the truth about these facts, my friends. There is no way that they can claim to love Yahweh, the name of Yahweh, and dress him up in the, in the filthy heathen deity's name, Elohim. They have polluted the pure words of Yahweh with their lies and weakened it with the names of heathen gods. Yahweh will have nothing to do with El worship or God worship as it is called today. He will not share the stage or His throne with any God. For more information write The House of Yahweh. Yahweh is spelled Y-A-H-W-E-H. Post Office Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604, or call toll-free at 1-800-613-9494. That's The House of Yahweh, P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604, or call 1-800-613-9494. And don't forget to ask for our free monthly magazine, The Prophetic Word.